Hello everyone. So today we are going to configure another Cisco, Cisco packet tracer activity and the number of this activity is 5.3.3.5 and in this activity we will configure a layer 3 switch. So if we check the documentation, so we have to fill out this addressing table. Uh, this, these, uh, these are two objectives. The first one is to is the documentation of the current network configurations and the second one is to configure the multi-layer switch. If we go into the part number one and uh, documentation of the current, ne current network configuration, so we have to get the information on the router R1 and uh, these are the requirements. We will go into the router R1 CLI tab and we will use the commands to get the information about the addressing table. Okay, so if we start, so this one is a table. I just copy this table into the Excel sheet to fill out. Now I will go into the router R1, go to the CLA tab. And if we go into the show IP interface brief, so we can see we have two interfaces, GI0 slash zero and zero slash one. And we will fill out these interfaces into the Excel sheet. So this one, these two interfaces, now the IP addresses, we can get the IP address information from this command, but we don't see any subnet mask information. To get the subnet mask, we have to go into the running configuration using the command show run. Okay, if we go into the show run and we can see the interface GI0 slash zero has this IP address, 172.16.31.1. And the subnet mask is slash 24 255.255.255.0. Okay, so this one is the subnet mask. And the interface 0 slash 1. This interface, this one is the IP address 192.168.0.2 with slash 24 subnet mask. So just copy this IP address. And the same, sub, same subnet mask, so I'm just going to copy this one. Okay, the next thing, we just complete this addressing table. Now we will move to the part number two to configure the multi-layer switch. Okay, the step number one is to configure the addressing scheme from the router R1. For this purpose, we will go into the CLA type of the switch. Now we have to configure the IP address, we have to configure the IP address for the interface GI0 slash one. Okay, so by default, this port is the switching port. To remove this switching, we have to issue the command no switch port. So this port can be act as the routing port. So we can configure the IP address on this interface. Okay, now after make this port as the routing, uh, we have to configure the IP address of from the router R1 interface GI0 slash one. Okay, so Let's start, click on the switch, go to the CLI, enable, configure, terminal, and the interface name is interface GI0 slash one. So we will issue the command, no switch port. Okay, now we have to issue the IP address from the router R1 interface GI0 slash one. If we go to the sheet 0 slash 1, yes, 0 slash 1, so this one will be the IP address 192.168.0.2 and 255.255.255.0. Okay, the next thing is go to the interface VLAN 1. And in this interface, we have to configure the IP address from the router R1 interface GI0 slash zero. And after configure the IP address, we need to active this port. Okay, go to the Excel sheet. We have to configure this IP address 172 for the interface VLAN 1. Okay, go to the interface VLAN 1 IP address. 
172.16.31.1 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and to activate the interface we have to issue the command no shutdown okay we see the notification that this port state changed to the up state okay next thing save the configuration to save the configuration of the switch we will go back and issue the command copy running configuration to the startup configuration we can also use the short command like write memory or wr so these three commands can be used to save the configuration from ram to the nvram okay the next thing is uh, deploy the new multi-layer switch and verify the connectivity. Okay, for this purpose, we need to delete the connections. We need to delete the current connections between switches and the routers. So these are the requirements. Uh, use the delete tool and remove the connection or simply delete the router R1, uh, switch S1 and switch S2. Okay, so this one is the delete tool. Just click on that. Uh, click on that and remove the connections okay now the next step is connect the MLS switch interface 0 slash 1 to the edge router interface GI 0 slash 0 okay so we will choose the cable straightforward uh, because these two devices are different edge router and the multi-layer switch and for this switch we have to pick up the cable 0 slash 1 gigabit and on the edge router we have to pick up the cable gigabit internet ethernet 0 slash 0 okay the next step is to connect the computers using the fast ethernet to the mls switch okay so we will go with the straight cable again pc1 fast ethernet switch interface number one we can pick any port so I, I will be going the sequence using the port one and pc2 port number two pc3 port number three and pc4 port number four and now this activity is complete the last thing we have to verify that all pcs can ping to the edge router IP address 192.168.0.1 okay we will uh, wait for some time so this connection can uh, come screen now we see just PC1 is green so we can try ping on the PC1 so click on the PC1 go to the desktop and the command prompt and type the command ping space 192.168.0.1 so first request will be the timeout okay here we go we just get a response now try the ping on the pc number two go to the desktop command prompt 192.168.0.1 Here we go. Now go to the PC number three, desktop, command prompt, and ping space 192.168.0.1. Okay, we get the response. Now on the PC number four, desktop, command prompt, and 192.168.0.1 okay we get the response from pc4 as well so we are good to go if i click on the check results uh, we will see that uh, congratulations this activity is complete and if i go into the assessment items so the all items are configured 
Thank you for watching.